Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Today, we are doing a special Christmas story called Little Miss Christmas and written by Roger Hurgreaves. Little Miss Christmas had a very special job. Do you know what that job is? All year round, she would stay in her lovely igloo, wrapping presents in glittery paper, paper with some stars and sequins, colorful paper, and the presents that she got to pack were fantastic. It was a wonderful job, and she really liked it. But like all people, after one year of packing, she really needed a break. She decided that she would go on a vacation. However, Christmas was not far. There was only one week left till Christmas Eve. What to do? What to do? I still have some presents left. Hmm. Then she came up with a great idea. Ho ho! Who is this? I am Little Miss Christmas. Santa Claus, will you come to my house and pack the rest of my presents? Ho ho! Of course I will, Little Miss Christmas. You might not know this, but Santa Claus was Little Miss Christmas's uncle. Huh. So, Santa Claus and Mr. Christmas, who was Little Miss Christmas's twin brother, both came zooming to the South Pole where Little Miss Christmas lived. They went into her igloo and she showed them all the presents that needed to be packed. Ho ho! Of course we will do it! Ho ho ho! Thank you! Say Little Miss Christmas. Little Miss Christmas boarded her plane and took off. She landed on some beautiful island where the sun was shining and relaxation was the thing to do. Miss Christmas was having a fantastic time and back at the South Pole, Santa Claus and Mr. Christmas decided to get to work early in the morning tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> they ate their marmalade and toast. Marmalade and toast, and even though it was time to get to work, neither of them felt like it. Ho ho! There's plenty of time to work and pack presents. How about we go out for a nice game of golf? Mr. Christmas liked golf. He immediately agreed, and they both took off. They had a nice game of golf that went on for the entire day. There were no presents packed, no work done. Eh, there's plenty of time. We can do it later. <sighs> so they went off to sleep. The next day, <laughs> they ate a nice bowl of cereal and they went to the packing room. But three presents down. Santa Claus asked, How about a nice ride with my reindeers? Woohoo! That'll be simply fantastic, said Mr. Christmas. And ho, ho, ho! They took off. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs>
it was again evening time by the time they were done Christmas was laying on a beach in Christmas Island, blissfully unaware of what was happening back at the South Pole. This is wonderful. The day came when it was time for her to go back, and when she reached back on Christmas Eve, she was shocked. Oh, ho, ho.